my name is Lucy Fox and I'm a wedding celebrant based here on the sunny Algarve in Portugal. You're looking for someone to marry you. Well, you've come to the right place. I was trained by the Fellowship of Professional Celebrants in the UK and now I conduct really personalised wedding services for brides and grooms and I really try to make sure that that wedding service is as much about them, you, as possible. So the starting point has to be finding the right celebrant and I really do think chatting to all the celebrants is the best way forward so that you can find out a little bit about them, they can find out hopefully a lot about you and from there it's a starting point for building a really good relationship where someone can work on your ceremony that is so about you and I can't tell you how crucial it is to find the right person to marry you. For me in my opinion, it is by far the most important part of your day. It's the thing that sets you up for life and it's the part of your day that sets the whole tone of the rest of your wedding. So getting it right really is important. Do your research and find the right celebrant for you. Well, this is the great thing about having a wedding celebrant conduct your service because you can get involved in crafting that service as much or as little as you like. But in a classic wedding service, a bride would walk up an aisle, usually accompanied by her father or a father figure, to the groom who's standing at the front with me, in front of an audience of as few or as many friends and family as you like. And then that's the point when the ceremony really properly begins, when I tell stories about your past, your present, your future, your plans you have. Friends can give readings, you could have friends get involved with music, you could even have a small ceremony involved in that ceremony, like a hand fasting ceremony or a ring warming ceremony or a sand ceremony, something symbolic that means something to you. But the crucial thing is, it is all about you. And then towards the end of the ceremony, you will exchange your rings, you will read your vows to each other, which I really encourage you to to write. But the important thing is it's all about you. You can get involved as much or as little as you want. I just need some information from you to make it a really personal service. There'll probably be a few tears. There may well be a lot of laughs, but it will be a very honest, truthful service. And that's what will make your service stand out. As a celebrant, my job is to conduct the wedding ceremony itself, but not to do the paperwork. If you want to legally get married in Portugal, you will have to ask a Portuguese registrar to come along to the service that I conduct. That part, the legalities, will be conducted in Portuguese. So you do have to be able to speak Portuguese fluently, and if you don't, you need to bring a translator along with you. And it's for that reason that many people who are coming from abroad choose to actually go through the legal paperwork in the country that they come from before they come to Portugal. It just makes things a lot simpler. It also means that they are obviously married under the laws of the country from which they come. And then there's the question of whether you tell your friends and family that you've actually gone through the legal paperwork before you've come to Portugal. And that's a personal choice. Many people choose not to because for them, this service that I conduct is the wedding itself. It's where the magic happens. It's where you make your commitment to each other. And for them, that is the wedding. You're free to get as involved as you like in the style of your wedding service. The way I work is this. We have an initial chat where I find out a little bit about your lives. You then make a decision about whether you want to use me as a celebrant. And from there, I have a much more involved chat with you two to three months before your actual wedding date. I send you a questionnaire and I get you to both write your own vows. And I also like to get involved with emailing and getting in touch with a couple of your friends and closest family just to get their perspective on your relationship. The crucial thing is it's about you and that's what your whole day will be about. It's your stories, your lives, it's your wedding. Yes, you definitely can. Some people just choose to keep it simple, but other people do want to incorporate something like a sand ceremony or hand fasting or ring warming. It's totally up to you. And if you want your friends involved, if you want people to sing a song or read a poem, it's all about what you want to make it. And I think that's why wedding celebrants have become so popular. They're making people realize that they're at liberty, they're at freedom to just do it their way in front of their friends, because that ultimately is what it's all about. It's that couple and their unity. 
So all I'd say to you is when you're looking for a celebrant, just find someone who is going to work hard to make sure that that really important milestone in your life really is just that. It's a really important milestone.